Uh, we found out Peter really by, purely by chance. Uh, we didn't even know the name of the village when we first arrived, but the moment I came into the village, I was reminded very much of the village in which I was born, uh, in the countryside in the eastern part of uh, the United Kingdom, east of London. But the difference between my village and here is that my village is, even though it's equally old, my village is not falling down, and this is. And uh, the Marino Braga Foundation uh, is a foundation formed by my wife and myself. It's a private foundation, which we finance. Uh, and the object of the foundation is the restoration of cultural heritage, built heritage, uh, and then to find some sustainable use for the building once we've restored them. So here, when we are active in the United States, uh, Italy, uh, Libya before Gaddafi or during the time of Gaddafi um, and in this country as well and of course Brazil. Um, and the sort of thing we do in Brazil for example we uh, restored a monastery into a hotel, a monastery which was no longer being used, it was 600 years old and now it's used as a hotel and it provides an income uh, both for the church and the local community and it provides employment. So we determined we would do the same here, and we bought up uh, three or four buildings, key buildings in the village, in the centre, and so far we've restored two. Uh, we're in the middle of restoring a third, uh, which eventually we will gift to the Prince of Wales as one of his buildings here in Transylvania. Um, and from there in this village we've already instituted a, a dispensary, um, and a pharmacy for the people in the village, and a doctor. Uh, next year we start to rebuild a proper clinic in the village, which will serve probably eight other villages as well. So it will provide doctors, it will provide nurses, immunization um, for the children, and also to look after old people. So we're really here by mistake, but continuing what we do as a foundation globally. And the trick of all is not just restoring the building, because that really is the easy bit. Um, here it's very important in this village because it provides a lot of employment. And there's some very, very skilled people uh, live in this village, stonemasons, carpenters, electricians, plumbers, iron uh, masons, blacksmiths, so all those people you need, so it provides employment. Uh, but the trick then is to find a use with the building, because the moment you finish restoring a building and lock the door, within one week you need a new light bulb. Uh, and if there's no money for the light bulb, well, you don't have light. Um, so each time we will find a sustainable use for the building, like a clinic, for example, or an art center, or, or a center to train young people in uh, heritage skills, be it stone masonry or carpentry. Uh, skills that they can transfer elsewhere, not just in this village. Um, and slowly but surely here, the village is changing, and it's changing because employment. Uh, we have an annual music festival, which was last weekend, which was fantastic in a village the size of Arquita, which is a dot in Transylvania, uh, you know, with musicians from the Baal Symphony Orchestra, and opera singers, young opera singers from all over Europe. Um, and for a village this size, I couldn't get this done in my village in England, but here we've been able to do it. We get a lot of support um, from President Cyprian Dobre, who'd been very, very good in assisting us. And we are working with him now to bid for European Capital of Culture 2021 for Tugamores and Sigiswara Link. Um, and that really is our story of why we're here. Um, we try to support the work of the Prince of Wales as much as we possibly can. Uh, he's a great lover of Transylvania, as you know. He's been here on a number of occasions. Uh, and we do what we can to support his, his efforts as well. Uh, this house has become also a magnet. We get many, many visitors here, and some of the buildings we've restored have already won European awards. Uh, we, we don't go in for competitions, that's not what we do, but uh, 
we've been fortunate that uh, organizations like Europa Nostra and so on have been here and World Monument Fund and awarded us recognition for what we do. So that's very, very good for the people who do the work here.